Welcome to Canoe Test Report Viewer Introduction Video. In this video, I will give you a brief introduction on the Canoe Test Report Viewer. Afterwards, I will talk about the integration of Test Report Viewer in Canoe and how to switch from HTML report format to report viewer format. Then, I will show you the user interface, different views and navigation principles in report viewer. Furthermore, I will talk about queries and how to use predefined and user-defined queries to analyze a test report. And finally, I will talk about the search and filter capabilities in Report Viewer to better handle test reports. The previously used HTML format was a solid way to view reports. However, in HTML format, you need to define all the information that you need to be included in the report in advance. And if you forget something, you cannot add it later to the report. Furthermore, there are certain limitations using HTML format, for example, navigating through the document. Therefore, we have developed an alternative format to the um, already existing HTML format. Um, which is the new Report Viewer format. Report Viewer has certain um, functionalities and capabilities uh, which makes it very attractive for analysis and viewing the um, report files. For example, you have an easy navigation through the whole document by having a structure and clicking on certain elements to view the content of that. You have multiple views, which helps um, parallel analysis of um, different parts of the report. And flexibly, you can define queries and filters and search possibilities, which we will see later in this um, video. And all in all, you have an efficient tool for analysis of test reports and to have a fast overview on the test results. Now let's take a look at the integration of Report Viewer in Canoe and learn how to set up and start Report Viewer from within Canoe. Previously, it was possible to generate reports in XML format and to transform them into HTML format. Since version 10, Canoe can alternatively generate reports in the new Test Report Viewer format. The format for test reports can be chosen in Canoe Options up here, under tab General, Test Feature Set, and in the section Reporting File Format. Here you can choose between the recommended Test Report Viewer format or the earlier version XML HTML format. Now, if you run a test, the generated report will be in Report Viewer format. As usual, the report can be opened directly from within Canoe by clicking on the Report button in the Test Configuration window up here. This will open the Canoe Test Report Viewer and show the current report. Let's take a closer look at Report Viewer, its user interface and navigation principles. You can open a report directly from Canoe, as shown previously, from your file browser by clicking on the report file or by opening the Test Report Viewer program and browsing to your report file. Once you open a report in Report Viewer, you can see the structure of report on the left-hand side within the Explorer window and an overview in the content area. The overview contains the results of the test case execution represented as a diagram with the distribution of the verdicts to test cases and general information about the performed tests, for example, 
information about the system under test, the tester and the test setup. Within the explorer you can see the execution tree tab. The execution tree is a fixed component of the explorer and shows the structure of the tests with test groups, test cases and so on. Furthermore, it shows the verdicts of the individual elements similar to the execution tree shown in Canoe. When elements of the execution tree are selected, their content and details are displayed in the content view. You can open multiple content views at the same time. The content view can show the content of an element selected in the execution tree or in a query result. Or it can show an overview of the test report that can be initiated up here from the ribbon menu. Or the table of content of the current test report. Different views can be shown in additional tabs, which can also be docked and grouped as needed. Here I can dock the table of content to the right hand side of the screen. Or I can put the overview tab down here. The content view may contain navigable elements, which allow you to navigate to respective parts of the report. Using the back and forward button in ribbon bar, you can move back and forth in the navigation history. By holding the control key on your keyboard and clicking a navigable element in the content view, the content of that element will be shown in a new view. This feature is available at any place where navigation is possible, for example, in the execution tree or query results. In the content view, using the mini toolbar, which appears upon mouse hover, you can directly navigate to the source code in VTest Studio or to Canoo. Furthermore, you can copy any text from within the content using the mini toolbar. Let's move forward to queries in Report Viewer. For targeted analysis, queries can be defined for the entire data of a test report. A query allows to find elements in the test report which match specific criteria. In the ribbon bar in section Query, you can find some predefined queries. Test cases by verdict returns all test cases grouped by their verdicts, as shown here. Trace items by worst test case verdict returns all trace items grouped by the worst verdict of the corresponding linked test cases. To demonstrate this feature, I will load another report which also consists of failed test cases. As you can see here, in this report I have 10% failed test cases. Now using the trace items by worst test case verdict, I get a list of trace items grouped by the verdicts of their corresponding linked test case. You can also create your own specific queries. A new user-defined query is created in the Query Ribbon group using the New button. This opens a new Query tab in Explorer. In the Result Gallery, you can choose the result type you are looking for, for example, Test Case.
Once you choose your result type, the attributes and relations galleries get activated. The attributes gallery contains the attributes of a test case, for example, its verdict. In this example, I'm looking for the test cases with past verdicts. The Relations Gallery shows elements that can be related to a test case. This can be used to build cascaded queries. For example, I want to find test cases that are linked with a trace item. By choosing another element type, the galleries get updated. Now I can choose also that the trace item should contain velocity in its title. In the explorer area, the query is visualized as a tree. This helps to understand the query, even if cascaded. I can also select single elements of the query tree and modify them. A textual representation of the query is given down here. Now I can run the query and receive the results here and view their content by clicking on each one of them. From the results, I can directly switch back to the Query Edit mode and change the query if needed. I can also save the query and reuse it next time for all other reports. If I close test report viewer without saving the query, it will still be available next time I open the same report again. However, it will only be available in this report. The saved queries can be accessed from the ribbon bar in the query group. Saved queries can also be exported or imported, which allows to share them with colleagues. Filtering and search functionalities in Test Report Viewer are further features that facilitate the analysis of test reports. In the ribbon bar, the tab filter offers different filters which improve clarity by reducing the report content. All filters work globally, i.e. in all views. In the verdict group, you will find tree element verdict, which filters elements of the execution tree by their verdict. The activity verdict filter aims at activities such as commands and test steps. For instance, if I choose this test case here, I can reduce its contents by adjusting the activity verdict filter. Other filters are also available to further reduce the information that are currently not needed. For example, the weight condition filter, the repeated violations, which hides all those repeated violations appearing in the report, or the deactivated tree elements. Quick search can be used to look for specific information. Focus the view in which you want to search for some text. Then press F on your keyboard while holding the control key to open the search box.
We have seen a short introduction on Canoe Test Report Viewer. We have seen that Report Viewer allows fast, intuitive and effective view and analysis of test reports by providing an easy navigation, allowing to use predefined queries or to define your own queries, by filtering information and by providing multiple views and windows. I hope you've enjoyed this introduction video. Thank you.